As we work and make money, oftentimes we tend to just spend to our means. We are in a vicious cycle, treating ourselves or buying because we feel we deserve it. What we really are searching for is financial peace and a stress-free life. What I found personally is I was spending out of carelessness, going to stores too often and impulse buying. Also, it's important to remember that this is not about counting every single penny, but instead spending on things that we truly value and love in life. That brings us joy beyond the initial high of any purchase we could ever make. The first super simple minimalist habit that you can adopt to save money now is to sell what you already have. When you adopt minimalism in your life, you automatically will start saving money due to the fact that you are spending time getting rid of things you no longer need. And in this process, you will come to the realization that you spent a lot of time and money just accumulating things that in the end were not serving you. Then in time, you'll want to dive deeper into saving and the benefits of putting what you already have to use. As you pare down your life, try to sell things that you are no longer using, but others may love and need. The second habit that you can adopt is cooking meals at home. It has been estimated that the average American family, which can include single person households, spend approximately 3000 on eating out each year. And I know for us, I pretty much could guarantee that at one time in our life, we were spending a lot more than this. And now the prices have gone up even higher and it's so easy to go out with a family of four and spend 50 plus dollars on dinner. While this may seem convenient and helpful in the moment, eating out not only removes the enjoyment and satisfaction from cooking a home-cooked meal, but it removes the positive relationship building time of cooking together as a family. Slowing down and making a meal has created some of our best memories and moments. The third habit you can adopt is to stop grabbing coffee out. I used to do this multiple times a week, but now I do it once a week if that. I have come to love making my hot drinks at home and I think they taste even better than their drive through counterparts. As you probably already know, a coffee out can easily run you a $3 plus bill. While at home, you can make a cup for a fraction of the cost. Let's just take Starbucks, for example. If you were to get a specialty drink from Starbucks every single day, in a year, you would have spent almost $1,200. While if you made a specialty drink at home, comparable to that Starbucks drink you were buying, you would have spent around $400. The fourth habit you can adopt is to realize that empty spaces equals freedom. Your mind will be clear and not bogged down by stuff. When you realize this, you can let go of the idea of buying extra home decor items and just extra things in general. I know for me, plants have become my hobby and passion recently. I can propagate my plants for free, I can give them away as gifts, I can fill my home with greenery and have the privilege of caring for them, which really brings such joy to me. And I know for me, the more plants, the better. Within reason, of course, I try to give them away if I get too many, but I think plants are just so underrated. And if you haven't tried this out, get some for your home. They're very inexpensive and they just bring so much to your life and to your space. And the last habit that you can adopt is to buy secondhand first. There is so much beauty in the old vintage items that others just don't want. And of course, I would say don't fall into constantly going to secondhand stores because it can definitely be a temptation. But when you have a need, finding it used can be way more rewarding and more inexpensive. Always remember, minimalism is a tool to eliminate life's excess.
focus on the essentials and find fulfillment and freedom.